Now the next option and command that we're going to explain is the mesh copy. Uh, just like the previous option which was the face meshing, we need to change the geometry for this command as well. Therefore we close the meshing software and double click on the geometry module to open the design molder software. Now just like what we did in the previous section, we delete the previous command here to create a new, a new geometry. Now to create our new geometry, we for example click on one of the shown planes and then click on the new sketch button. And then we click on the sketching button to draw the outline of our new geometry. To draw our first geometry, we need to draw two arcs using the arc by center command. Make sure that you put the starting point of the arc on the center of the coordinate. Draw another arc similar to the previous one except this one should have a smaller radius. And finally we are going to use the line command to close the ends of our two arcs. Now using the dimension section, we are going to put some constraint over this shape. Follow the steps shown in this and the next slides to fully constraint your geometry. As you saw, we used the vertical constraint and then we set the value of this vertical length equal to 4 meter. We again use the vertical constraint over the other side of the arc and again we set the value of the second vertical length equal to 4 meters as well. We can also use the angle dimension to define the angle of the oblique line connecting the ends of our two arcs. For example, we are going to Define the value of this angle equal to 45 degrees. We do the same thing for the other end of our two arcs to define its angle regarding to the horizontal line of our coordinate. And for the next geometries, we are going to simply use the circle command to draw two circles in the same sketch. Again, we go over dimensions to select the diameter constraint that we want to put over our two circles. Make sure that you enter an equal value for the diameter of these two circles because we want to have two completely identical shapes for the command that we are going to explain in the meshing section. For example, you can see here that we have entered the value of 5 meter for the diameter of, of our two circles. Now these shapes have been only the outline and profile of our geometries. Therefore, we are going to use the extrude command to turn these outlines into 3D objects. As for the length of extrusion, enter the value of, for example, 10 meters and then click on Generate button. Another thing that we should do is to create very small objects such as ridges over the upper surface of our arc. To do that, we simply click on the Surface Selecting command and then click on the upper surface of the arc. For example, as our first small shape and object, we are going to simply draw a rectangle over the surface. The second shape that we want to draw is a circle. As I mentioned in the previous slide, because we want to have very small objects, namely ridges, we are going to use the extrude command again to extrude these small objects 
in 3D format. As I mentioned before, because we want to have very small objects with very small length, we enter the value of extrusion length here equal to 0.2 meter. Now everything that we wanted to draw in the design motor software was finished, therefore we can simply close the design motor software to enter the meshing software. The next command that I'm going to teach you here is the mesh copy. But as you all probably know, before using a new command, we create an initial mesh for our geometries. Now if you pay attention to the two cylinders, you can see that the mesh generated over them are slightly different, which is merely because of the mesh generation algorithm. But we are going to use the mesh copy command to create two completely identical mesh over these two cylinders. But before using the mesh copy command, we are going to create tetrahedral mesh cells over one of the cylinders so that you can better understand the difference when we use the mesh copy command. Therefore, we click on the method command and then on the low left side of the software window in front of the geometry, we select one of the cylinders. And then in front of the method, we select tetrahedrals. Now as you can see here, we have a tetrahedral type of mesh generated over one of our cylinder while having a hexahedral type of mesh generated over another one. Now here, using the mesh copy command, we are going to generate the same tetrahedral type of mesh over the cylinder which has hexahedral type of mesh right now. Now after clicking on the command, you can see the software will ask you for two geometries. The first geometry is the source geometry which you want to copy its mesh. The second one would be the target geometry which you want to copy your mesh over that. It only should be mentioned that a same geometry should be selected for both of the two geometries. For example, as you can see here, I've selected the upper surface of the first cylinder. For the target geometry, I have to select the same upper surface over the second cylinder. Now finally here you can see that the tetrahedral type of mesh cell has been copied from the first object to the second cylinder.